Hello, very good evening. Today, basically, we're going to learn how we can create a simple web page layout using CSS with a simple header and a links and a single column page layout. Um, in order to do that, we will be using various different div tags and we will use some CSS to create this beautiful and simple looking web page. My name is Dr. Dishan Bhatti. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So uh, let's begin and create this uh, web page. Okay. Now, in order to do that, basically, uh, let me just come into my code. Uh, let's create a new file here on the left side first. Clear new. I think I will just put it here. And on the right as well, let me just create a new file and put it here. Okay. So we have two blank new files. First, we will come here and let's just create a simple HTML. Okay. And backslash HTML. And here we go. Okay. So this is one simple page. Control S. Save it. And for example, I can name this page as if I go back into my folder. And for example, um, web layout one dot HTML. Okay. That should say do the trick. So I have web page one layout HTML. Uh, within this, I have a head tag. Okay. Obviously. And uh, let me just close it back. And then we create some body tag. Okay. Very quickly. Uh, so, like I said, every HTML page requires these three basic things. We need a head tag, we need a body tag, and we need an HTML tag to cover all that thing. Okay. Now, within this HTML tag, basically, uh, we have head and body. And within this body, let me create, for example, we start with a div tag. Okay. Um, and uh, where is div? There we go. Div. And there we go. So, this first div, this can be, for example, my header. So, I will just give it h1 and close this and this is my header layout actually a header layout okay so this is my header layout of website so this becomes the first head tag then uh, we come here and create another div tag okay and this becomes the second div tag within this div basically what we need is in order to create this template we need to create three links okay so for that i will create an anchor tag and for anchor tag, we need h reference is equals to. Uh, for now, um, let's just say that we can use um, hashtag, I guess. That should do the trick. And if we have a hashtag, close this. And I can use link one. And this will become my link tag. Control C, Control V, and Control V, and Control V. And I can use, for example, link two, link three, and link four. Okay, and as soon as I save it, I should get a simple website with header layout, link one, link two, link three, and link four. So nothing very uh, auspicious going around here. Okay, uh, and we div is closed, body is closed. Now, how do we convert this into something of a very nice, oh, sorry, we can convert this into a proper website um, looking like the output we showed you previously. So in order to do that, we will come into my CSS. Okay, now because we are using an external CSS, remember we would have to connect it or link it with my main HTML. So for now, let's just go into CSS and start working in this thing. Now, um, for here, we have basically used two div tags and a heading tag. What I will do here is first I will come here and use a class, and maybe we can name it, for example, a header. And I will come into this second div and I will also separate this. Again, using class in CSS allows us to separate the, CS the code. For example, uh, there are two div tags and I want different settings, different CSS to be applied on each of the CSS. So for this thing, we need uh, different uh, properties for each of the div tags. In order to do that, we create class. So now, for example, we have one div with a header. So I will create a CSS with header that would be applied on this div and then another div header with nav class, which will be applied on this div only. Okay, so we come back here in our CSS and I will, what I will do now is, we will create, for example, our code. Now we start with, for example, body and I can specify the body tag as well. So for example, usually sometimes what we do is we can give a background. Uh, back, uh, in fact, let me come here and control S first. Let me just save it. I think it's just forgetting the folder every single time. Now, where is it? So I will just go back into my drive, find it here, CSS layout. Now I have been using this file. This is web layout. So I will say CSS for my layout dot css extension and it would save this file over okay so now we have a bsck background color okay and i can say just give me a simple azure kind of a color or a, i think azure should work fine okay control s but there is no change here again remember because we haven't linked it yet so just hold on for that second 
Then uh, background, I can, for example, set the margin. Usually I do that margin margin uh, for my background colon, and this can be at zero. So my pages starts from zero, zero. And obviously, because we are using multiple CSS, again, hang on if I can just close this, or if I just split it into no split. So I have a CSS layout here. Okay, and let me increase the font size. So you can read it better. Okay, um, so um, this is basically what we have. So we have a CSS, and let me just close other CSS if that is the case. Uh, CSS HTML one, close this also. Cancel. Hang on, I will just copy this link for now. Control C and close, and don't save. CSS positions. We talked about that previously. Let me close that. So we just have two files available, and it's just easy to switch between them too. Okay. So uh, we have a CSS, and basically what we did with the margins, and then background color now uh, is basically also closed. Control S, web layout. Control S. We have a web layout file available here. Um, here again, see this. There's no color being applied on our CSS on our HTML. That's because there is no semicolon. So make sure you give a semicolon here. Press Control S, and now it should be applied. So first we set the body, okay. Now the next task is basically to go into our header. So we go into dev dot h e r d r header h e a d r header, and this is my div tag for my header. For a header, again we can set, for example, background color. Usually I like to set that, and that background color can be maybe a gray, dark gray, aqua gray, whatever you feel more nice. Let me use a dark gray for now. Press semicolon, okay. Once that is done, uh, we can use padding. Padding basically means that uh, the margin is zero. After the margin, there is still a gap between your header uh, and your web page that starts, okay, and or the margin where it starts. So in our case, for example, let's just start with 20 pixels, and then we will see how it goes. Text align. I have given a header font, so let me give that as a center. That should also do the trick. So if I save it, uh, and if I go back into my HTML, see it's still not applied, okay. The one main reason is that we have uh, a CSS, but it is not being shown because we have not linked this external CSS into our HTML. Always remember, whenever you're using external CSS, make sure you link it with your code. So we go back into HTML uh, and we have a head tag. Within head tag, I will just copy the link tag. Okay. Now remember, link, relation, style sheet, type text, style CSS, and H reference, we will give CSS layout. This is the file that I'm using. As soon as you press Control S to save this code, the output is now generated on this link. So now you can see we have a dark background with a header available to us. And then obviously there's a little bit padding here and we have a center alignment. Perfect. Okay. Um, this is dark gray. You can use a light gray as well. I think uh, I can use that. I should light gray. Here we go. Control S. So it's, it's a lighter gray version of our system available. That's do, 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 do. now. Uh, let's come back to this code and then now use dev dot nav navigation. Okay, um, this should do the trick for us. Now this is division division navigation means that we have a second division class nav and now we want to control this div uh, feature. So if I go back into my CSS within this uh, div navigation, basically what we need to do is we need to make sure that our uh, one thing called overflow is set to hidden okay what well, this will basically mean that the content that overflows this link are basically hidden uh, background color again i would just set it to for example um what we use hash triple three black dark gray okay that's i just remember very few hash div codes so uh, usually we prefer names but sometimes i know the codes and there are very few codes that i remember and I use that. So uh, but, uh, anyway, this is uh, one top uh, navigation code that we have applied. Okay, so uh, this is just for the div tag. Now, actually, the control for the links would be applied on our anchor tag. So what we can do is we can go into our a tag, or for use accessing the a tag, we can also apply, for example, dot um, navigation and a. Okay, what this basically means that x use those anchor tags that are under the class dot navigation means use those class that are under this navigation class okay otherwise all the anchor tags might get affected so in order to classify in the limit the application we apply that go into navigation class and under that navigation class there is an anchor tag use that okay so it just becomes a little bit uh, nicely easily done okay so now we're basically controlling the anchor tag that are under the navigation class so in the anchor tag basically first thing we want to ensure that the float value for anchor is set to left semicolon 
so that the links appear on the left side okay then uh, for here the display uh, I would set display means the actual display uh, is supposed to be block okay so they appear in a block form and then what we can say for example color now color actually depends on how you want to use that color another value I remember is f2 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 four times if I am correct yes okay uh, this should be like white I think if I'm not mistaken and in the end uh, basically we use text dash align property and this is supposed to be again center so that the links appear in the center of your box model why is going all this way uh, home space that's right okay and then oh, here we go okay so uh, basically anchor is a tag and for this a tag we are specifying that a float is left display is supposed to be a block form and the color is there like left alignment um, text alignment is supposed to be center now the next important thing is padding okay we want to control uh, the padding feature of this um, um, link okay in order to control that padding for example we can set uh, maybe 10 pixel and space 10 pixel okay uh, this should be left and right if i'm correct we will have to adjust with that and then text decoration yes there we go space none semicolon okay so now we are here but there's still one problem is occurring i don't know why the links are not displaying properly okay um again we are using this editor called brackets and it's showing live view here and you can see this brackets connected with google chrome and it shows us the padding feature very nicely as it uh, available okay so we can control how much padding it's and it's just giving us this idea a small grid very light grid i don't know whether it's visible here but it, it basically gives a small grid and we can control that however still the links are not visible i don't know what the mistake is if i come back here i think this is supposed to be dark gray background dark gray double three yes it's supposed to be dark gray what's happening hidden oh okay okay see this this is a mistake sorry my mistake overflow there's a two double semicolons okay uh, because of that there's an error and now it's just not showing it up so let me delete one of the semicolons um no, sorry columns and now it's okay so div navigation overflow colon hidden basically means that overflow is whenever it occurs it's just hidden area uh, background is um dark gray so now we have a dark gray we come back into our links float left so the links are on the left side i think if we make it say right r i g h t right and you would find that the value now the links are floating on your right side depending on basically what you want to do and how you want to uh, s c e n t r e center yeah so now it's at the center obviously we want them to be on left so we set them on the left okay so depending on how you want to say organize your links it's up to you display obviously we want to display them in a block size color is supposed to be white f2 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 is a white and obviously we can just use a simple white color background for that as well but i remember a few codes i tend to use that way um again if you don't want to use this you can use whit white it should also do the same purpose again links is up to you whatever color you want to use so we have the links available text alignment center because we're using a block display so we want to ensure that the text appears at the center of each of the block padding is not 10 10 now you can increase this for example 10 means that from the block that states this is a 10 pixels so if i set it to 20 you would see that now it has a 20 pixels from top and it can be for example 30 pixels from each of the sides so 20 pixels from top and bottom and then 30 pixels on the left right so now hopefully you can see the grid better and you can uh, see the alignment of each of the content that is there that's why i sometimes use brackets with uh, web layer of google chrome and you can because you can easily see these grid layouts um, and you can plan your arrangement very easily so uh, for our sake because we want the link to appear very nicely and so not big so for example 10 should do the trick and i think uh, 20 should do this trick so the links appear very uh, nominally if i hide this see this it's, it's now very okay you can use tech font size change the font whatever you want with these links as well depends on how you basically are planning to organize okay now the next thing is that when i move the cursor over i want the color to change okay so whenever my cursor moves over these uh, i want the color to change so that they may look like a color however uh, remember we have done text decoration none this is something we have talked about previously as well because of text decoration none there is no underlying link so if i hide this so for example if i come back here and control x save it now you see they appear with underline and there's a link there 
right? But if you use test decoration none, now there is no underline and they appear as a just a normal length. So they are nice to be done. Then uh, again, we go into something called dot uh, and navigation, go into this class and then I want to go into a H O V E R hover. Okay. Now this is another uh, CSS subclass that we use in order to control the anchor tag with the hover property. This basically means that what should happen when the, the mouse hovers around this particular link. This is hovering. Okay. When mouse moves over it, what should we do? So in our case, we just simply say that when mouse moves there, for example, background color should change to um, white, I guess. Uh, yes, I think white should do the trick um, or whatever color you want to specify in this case. So maybe uh, hashtag DDD, okay? Remember, hashtag DDD is basically a simple color that is like grayish kind of a thing um, and I can make it that background and then um, what should be the foreground color be okay let's just change that as well foreground color can be black semicolor control s so now if i move here see this this is what happening so as soon as i move my cursor over it the ddd is light gray that the text um, the background changes to light gray and then the link basically appears with the black color okay so however and now my links are working fine so we have a very simple layout of a website created with a header with our text next we will be understanding how we create our more con more different form of layouts with respect to website and whatever contents we want so anyway this is a simple thing that we you can organize links and good uh, layouts in this particular manner okay hopefully um, it's easy to understand easy to follow and if you have any problem do let me know in the comments down below uh, and i will hopefully uh, try to address them as much as i can okay so see you till the next class with more uh, with CSS based layouts. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Shanbhati. See you around.